It is your task to be love in action, and only that. February 19, 2017 here in the spiritual or non-physical realms, our excitement continues to grow as we observe the enormous progress humanity is making on its path to awakening. It may well appear to you that things are getting worse and worse, but what is disturbing you and causing pain and suffering for many is the collective choice to release so much buried stuff that has been holding you back, anchoring you in the darkness of uncertainty and fear. Now is the time when all of that is arising so that you can swiftly and easily release it. Very many of you are releasing stuff for others through your compassion and love for them, and this is both extremely tiring and confusing for you because you are unable to identify the cause of these exhausting emotional upheavals. You beautifully and lovingly chose to incarnate at this point in humanity's evolution solely so that you might assist others who are having difficulty in finding any meaningful purpose in their human lives because their state of amnesia was so intense. Due to your efforts and intentions, the amnesia is being released, allowing people to start remembering who they are and why they are incarnate at this moment in human history. Many of you have had the experience of awakening in the morning from dreams which have left you feeling disturbed, anxious, even frightened, while also leaving you feeling exhausted instead of refreshed by your sleep time. What you are experiencing now is the awakening from the illusion into reality instead of from a sleeping dream to a waking dream, and the difference is way more intense and pronounced. It is very unsettling. Bear with it. Just allow what arises and experience it without engaging with it. Don't try to make sense of it, it's just like weather passing through, and you need do nothing. Doing something with it, attempting to make sense of it, being irritated by it, feeling that it is arising because there is something wrong with you, just draws you back into the darkness of the illusion where nothing makes sense and drains you of essential energy and motivation for life. Life can and should be joyful, but your constant thought processes about your worries and anxieties prevent you from finding the joy that is there in every moment. It is your constant stream of thoughts that cause you stress, anxiety, and suffering, and that is why you need to take time out frequently every day, even for just a quick moment if you are very busy, to stop engaging with your thoughts. That is what you do in meditation. And those of you who have been practicing for some time are well aware of the benefits. As a practicing meditator, you already have the skills necessary to move quickly into a state of peace even for just a few moments to relieve some of the stress of daily living. Doing so will ease your tiredness or lack of energy, demonstrated by feelings of frustration or irritation, leaving you feeling somewhat refreshed. Burnout occurs when people attempting to assist others compassionately and lovingly are not in the first place treating themselves with that same love and compassion. Many of you feel unworthy of love, but I absolutely assure you that nothing could be further from the truth. If you do not treat yourselves with at least the same love and respect you show to others, then when you try to assist them, you drain your energy fields instead of constantly and abundantly replenishing them. When you go within, to your most holy inner sanctuary where the light of God's love for you burns constantly, and intend to open your hearts to allow that love to flow through you freely and abundantly, it will. Being in human form, which is a state of limitation, you need to renew that intent at least once every day, but preferably many times daily as you remember that you are and always have been one with God. Each time you renew your intent, you strengthen it, giving you the vital energy you need to assist in humanity's awakening process, the task you set yourselves before you incarnated. Living in the world it is very easy to get drawn into the negative or dark energy that is empowering fear, conflict, betrayal, and suffering. By holding the intent to be channels or conduits through which God's love flows constantly and abundantly, you effectively dissolve those dark energies and they dissipate. It is your task to be love in action, and only that. Do not engage with blame, judgment, or side-taking, whatever situations you may find yourselves in, because if you do, you just strengthen instead of dissipating the negative energies that you encounter. Love is your nature, but when you chose to construct and enter the illusion, you also chose to leave love behind, thinking that you would find love, small l, there in others that would satisfy you. 
you could not in that moment envisage the effect that shutting yourselves off from God's love for you would have, because you assumed that the love you received from others in the illusory environment you had built would be completely fulfilling. And indeed the love you receive from others can be very inspiring and uplifting, however, it can never even begin to replace the love that is your true and only nature. Humanity's awakening is a coming home to love, a coming home to source, a coming home. When you find yourselves fully awake, fully present in the presence of God, one with Him, your joy will be boundless, way beyond anything you can imagine even in your most uplifting and inspiring dreams, because in truth there is no place like home, or even remotely resembling it. So, go within frequently each day, to that inner and sublimely holy space where God's love for you resides in every moment and allow it to fill your hearts and flow out through you to awaken all of humanity. That is what you came to do, and when you choose to do so, you do it beautifully. You cannot fail because you are aligned perfectly with the divine will when you make the intent to be only loving in every moment. With so very much love, Saul. Channeled by John Smallman. John Smallman .wordpress .com.